Hi all, I wanted to make a quick video about day and thoughts about the markets for 26th of June 2024. Before I begin, I would request you to read the disclaimer that you see on the screen and in the description below and know that this is an educational channel. With that said, let's proceed. So we'll go to our usual chart, which is the 4 hour chart. Nifty 50 looks like this. It has managed to sustain above this uh, support line, which is at 23676 and has closed at 23840 the next target is for it to cross this red line over here 2401924 things are looking bullish uh bank nifty i thought would cross 53000 today but uh, it did not for some reason uh, it just lingered on between uh, 52950 or so and it was just not able to cross but anyways coming back to nifty good day a trending day uh, was slow in the second half but the people who would have uh, taken call trades in the first half would have definitely made money so overall would not call this day a bad day it's a pretty nice day only that second half was uh, very trappy and very catchy it was not heading basically anywhere all right the levels on the screen are still valid we'll change the levels probably over the weekend but for now it's uh, it's uh, holding up to its uh, uh, support and resistance pretty well on the charts that you see you see over here also it's exactly taken support from this yellow dashed line and it's holding up if it needs to go up the the levels that you see on the screen are going to be the resistance and if it goes down then the levels that you see on screen are going to be the support on the way down you will you can pause the video over here and mark the levels it's very simple all right so that's as far as nifty is concerned for the last one or two days i've been mentioning we need to keep our eyes and mind open it can go either ways it can go up or it can correct and go down profit booking can happen at any point of time the feeling generally is the market knows something that we all don't know or the general masses don't know that's why it is uh going up maybe there's some very good news in the budget that's coming up or some other good news i don't know what it is but market probably definitely knows something or the big participants know something that probably the general public or retail traders don't know that's why the market is going up uh, every day it's providing good opportunities in the first half especially in the first one hour one and a half hours and after that things go static so it's a little difficult for people who trade in the second half of the day i fall in that category so it's a little difficult but let's see uh hopefully one of these days i'll be able to catch a good trend but I hope today people would have made money, especially in the first half. All right, so Nifty is on your screen. It's uh, it's still continuing its bullish trend. And uh, let's see how things go. So we'll save this. We'll go on to our Bank Nifty. Bank Nifty put up a good show today. Uh, it uh, Just let me get up my Bank Nifty chart. Also, yeah, again, there was movement in the first half. People would have gone long somewhere at about first of all people would have gone short would have made money in the first half and a 45 minutes and then people would have gone long would have made money but after about 11 11 15 it went static and probably the whole of the day it just went sideways the the assumption was that it will break 53 and go above today i was in that pack also i thought now that it's come up to 52,950 it will probably cross 53 and go above i mean just 50 points away but for some reason or the other it did not do that and it kept struggling to cross 53,000. all right it was not going down also too much it was probably struck in a range in any case we will keep our minds and eyes open in the coming days we will be open to both sides and the sheet on the screen will help us uh, knowing the support and the distance um, on the way up the red line if it sustains above the red line which it has intersected twice today this is a four hour chart so two bars are from today uh if it manages to stay above the red line then probably in the coming days it'll try and sustain itself above 53,000. let's just wait and watch for some reason i'm not so optimistic i think today was the monthly expiry and what needed to be done has been done today maybe there will be a correction from tomorrow but that's a maybe all right again as i said there may be some good news in the market that the big players know that we don't so as far as we are concerned we'll keep our eyes and ears open and play whatever we see on screen and not try to think too much 
so we will continue being bullish on uh, nifty 50 as uh, i mean bank nifty as well and be open to it going further up or if it goes down then the support levels are on your screen all right so this chart also has been saved great let's go on to our uh, fin nifty pretty similar to what you see in the nifty it is holding up above the support of 23384 uh, that's the red line that you see on screen it has yesterday closed above this and today also entire day it did not break that and go you can see in the first half also it exactly went down and took support from this red line and went up the resistance levels on tops are mentioned they are they, they show on the screen with the yellow dashed line actually this red line and this red line are the fibonacci but it's so far apart so we have drawn some resistance lines in between on the way down uh, first resistance will be the red line itself then it will be the yellow dashed line at 23020 and so on and so forth whatever you see on screen that will be the levels that it'll try and follow all right and get rid of this line so that should be fine all right so not much to do also on this chart we'll just save it and the levels are still valid resistance on top and support at the bottom let's see tomorrow how things play out we are open to both sides mid cap has been losing some steam so let's look at the mid cap chart mid cap both yesterday and today has been losing some steam that aggression of it going up every day has probably calmed down a little bit however it is sustaining above the red line that you see on screen which is at 12260 or 59 whatever 5960 12260 it's holding up over there the last two and a half days and uh, chances are it may go up ahead it's come all this way it may further go up ahead we really can't say from this level anyways the levels that you see on screen will help you if it goes up it will show you the resistance and if it goes down it will show you the support levels again the fibonacci that i use is not the normal fibonacci that comes in default in all your trading platforms i use a custom fibonacci levels there's a video on the channel called advanced fibonacci levels for experienced traders watch that video it's very simple in about half an hour you'll learn how to use it then you can draw the same fibonacci levels that i'm using on my screen they really work all right so as far as mid cap also is concerned we are free and open we are open to it going up we are open to it coming down we will trade according to what we see on the screen and not what we think the mind is still telling us that the market needs to fall this continuous up momentum cannot sustain that's the mind but the market is telling us that it knows that we all are waiting for a shot until we don't short short and lose money it's not going to come down all right so like every day we'll again go to the four hour chart on the trading view platform and see how things are looking up so this is a spot chart for nifty 50 again the upward trajectory is still on uh, the adaptive trend is still showing an upward direction so no change in the trend as of now uh, when it comes to bank nifty also the upward trend i think is still valid yep the upward trend is still valid fin nifty upward trend is still valid and mid cap upward trend is still valid even though today it's closed close to the lower line that can change tomorrow not too much to worry about i think uh, the fall can be initiated via the mid cap because when everything else was not doing well mid cap was holding up and keeping everything intact so maybe when the fall comes also mid cap mid cap will probably lead the pack that's an assumption may or may not be so so at this stage the crux of the matter is we need to be open not apply too much brains not use our logic um, just go with the flow is the uh, name of the game right now trade with what you see and not what you think the mind will keep telling you to short and if you short you lose money most probably unless you are very quick and you're grabbing the opportunity in the first half an hour 45 minutes you're very good with levels apart from that 
in the second half especially the way the markets have been going if you short in the second half there are chances that you lose money all right so be careful shorting i'm not against shorting just be careful shorting because the general you know underlying trend of the market is still bullish for whatever reason all right so on that note i'll end this video guys thank you very much for watching if you found the video useful in any way please like and subscribe to the channel share the video with your family and friends also leave a nice comment if possible but definitely give the video a like it helps the channel grow also subscribe to our free telegram channel the link is given in the description in all our videos uh whenever we post a video we give the link on the telegram channel so a like over there also would be much appreciated thank you again for watching and i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye